first i will just introduce you about this atmospheric electricity because this is a new subject you might have not heard about it actually uh, but you might have heard about this benjamin franklin and his kite experiment in somewhere in 1750s he was trying to understand how lightning is occurring or what is lightning yeah uh, he was trying to understand what is lightning because that time it was not everybody see the lightning but it was not known what is lightning and by his very tight experiment first time he discovered or he showed that lightning is nothing but a electrical discharge because just before that electrostatic uh, electricity was discovered and he told the first time that the main thing that lightning is nothing but a one form of electricity it is due to electrostatic electricity that discharges are occurring and he started this branch of atmospheric electricity first time he started with lightning study and then many uh, people did I, i will not go into detail but there are many uh, scientists they tried to discover this even though it, it, i am of 1750 it was understood yeah 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 uh, it, it, they 1750 it people started knowing that the lightning is a electrical discharge but it was not known how exactly that electricity is coming because as you know to produce a electrical discharge if you have positive terminal and negative terminal and it is separate by 1 mm then you can get a discharge or you can get a spark that is a electrical discharge lightning is also like that but to produce a electrical discharge between cloud cloud is somewhere 5 to 6 km or the charge center is 6 7 km and from there to or producing electrical discharge if you calculate huge electrical power is required and it was not known how that electrical power is coming inside cloud and if it is coming why it cannot be used in initial period people were thinking that if it is it is a huge power if you do some research we can use that power for mankind that was earlier stage and uh, then now uh, people know that not only in the cloud time but even fair weather means if there is no cloud also atmosphere purchases some electricity because even though we see say that uh, our air is a con- uh, bad uh, conductor of electricity or it is insulator because electricity will not flow through it but still it is a conductor it is having some free air and that three ions can if you apply electric field that the three ions can flow or they can move and produce some electrical current and even though uh, day time or in there there other day there is always some electric field exist around 200 to 300 volt per meter electric field always exist uh, any anywhere in the atmosphere anywhere in the earth surface and uh, then thunder storm electrification as i told we know that it is uh, electricity is there but how that electrification is occurring or how that power or electrical power is coming inside cloud that still it is a research area even though some well known hypothesis are there but still it is not 100% sure how that power is coming then global electric circuit actually as you know ionosphere it is around 100 km from our surface there is a layer of uh, layer actually earth and ionosphere act as a conductor is like a capacitor and electric field between them is always there even though as i told our air is not a insulator it is a conductor and therefore that potential difference should have become zero because if there is some leaky medium in between two conductor then current should flow and after some time that potential difference should decrease or it should become zero but it is the, that potential difference is always remaining between ionosphere and earth surface potential difference is always there and that is how that is remaining that people are trying to understand that is global electric circuit it is called because ionosphere in fair weather day current is flowing ionosphere is that potential positive potential and earth is that negative potential therefore positive ions are flowing from ionosphere to earth but to, where there is a thunder storm then it is happening opposite means positive ions are going up and they are again charging the ionosphere means ionospheric potential always remains same 
uh, with respect to earth and that is called as a global electric circuit that is also very big research topic actually nowadays and uh, this relation between meteorology and atmospheric electricity means how this uh, atmospheric parameters they affect some meteorological characteristic of the region that also is a active research area nowadays then uh, i will not go much into this how ions and that come because this this all these measurements we are doing means uh, in iitm we have atmospheric electricity observatory and there we can measure conductivity electric field all these atmospheric electricity parameters on daily basis and uh, the thermal variation and that we are trying to study how it is coming Okay, that uh, anyway, clear weather electricity. I will not go, but I, as I told, I will talk something about thunderstorm electrification because as just now I told, to lightning to occur, huge electric field or huge electrical power is required, and how that power is coming or how the cloud becomes electrified, that uh, that I will tell actually. Uh, generally, this thunder. Or uh, the thunder clouds, which is producing lightning, they are generally because of surface heating they are occurring, and therefore they are generally near to equator only. Most of the thunderstorms are uh, happening, and uh, even uh, some towards pole also some thunderstorm. But maximum number of thunderstorms are in the equatorial region. You can see here actually, you can see this temperate zone. That is most of the thunderstorms are occurring in this zone because of uh, heating. Maximum in that region. Most of the lightnings are occurring in that region. This is also thunderstorms over India, and you can see this. Mostly this east coast also, you can see lot of lightning here. This Orissa coast and uh, uh, West Bengal, and also in uh, northeastern part and Himalayan region also, lot of uh, lightning activity. Okay. okay. Mainly, there are means as I told, actually electrical dis uh, discharge. Means this is the you can see actually here as I have shown in the upper portion of cloud there is a positive charge region because to occur electrical discharge two charge regions or two polarity of charges are required positive and negative. Then only uh, this lightning can occur and then. Cloud. There are two charge regions: positive charge in the upper portion and negative charge in the lower portion of the cloud. And then coming. That is also one uh, problem. Actually, means how that charges are coming. That is, even though it is not fully understood, but there are some, as I told, some hypothesis people have proposed how the charges are coming inside cloud. And uh, in that, actually, even though there are these convective mechanism or many other are there, but mainly it is accepted that inside cloud, as you may be knowing, there is not only water water droplets. There are some ice particles also because clouds generally it, uh, cloud base will be around one to two kilometer and top will be around twelve to thirteen kilometer, and therefore there will be large number of ice particle or frozen particles inside cloud when they collide with each other. Actually, you might have heard in the uh, uh, childhood people when there is thunderstorm, uh, people used to tell us that uh, that is because one cloud is colliding with another cloud, and that is spark is generating. It is not one cloud is not colliding with other, but that particles inside cloud there are uh, ice particles and they are colliding with each other, and that is generating the electricity. The bigger particle will get negative charge, and smaller particle will get positive charge, and they will separate from each other. And these positive charges will go in the upper portion, and they will form positive charge there, and negative charge particle in the lower portion of the cloud. And generally, this is a electric field actually I have measured, and you can see actually generally as I shown here actually uh, this. Most of the clouds are like first type. I mean, there will be positive charge in the upper portion, the negative charge in the lower portion. But in Pune region, we observe that some are, uh, some clouds are forming of opposite polarity. I mean, they will have positive charge, negative charge in the upper portion and positive charge. And still, it is not understood why some clouds are forming with uh, opposite polarity.
then uh, there are three types of uh, uh, generally lightning actually intra cloud lightning intra cloud lightning means actually it will occur between as i told there are two charge region therefore it will be between that two charge region means inside under cloud only they will occur they will not come to ground and this uh, this cloud to ground discharges they are actually mainly uh, producing uh, uh, means damages and they are from cloud to ground means as i told that uh, there are two charge regions positive and then there is a negative charge region from that negative charge region sometimes that discharge occurs towards ground that is called as a cloud to ground discharge this cloud to ground discharge is only of a, a 10 percent of our total discharges 10 percent will be cloud to ground discharges but they are producing mostly these deaths uh, dr gopal krishna will tell about how that is affecting means how many people are dying and uh, a big concern nowadays because many people more than 2500 people uh, more than 2500 people every year die because of this lightning and that, that anyway uh, gopal krishna will discuss but this it is that cloud to ground discharge they are mainly producing that impact that uh, effect that uh, uh, damages it is producing and of course there is as i told ionosphere is also one of the conducting layer therefore some discharges occur from cloud to ionosphere also upward direction that is also very rear but uh, always in thunderstorm that also is up then as i told they since most of these discharges they are coming from negative charge is it hmm? uh, keep some close about the course yeah okay the, it, it's uh, this uh, uh, discharges are coming from negative polarity to uh, negative charge to ground therefore most of this cloud to ground discharges bring negative charge to the ground they are called as a negative discharges but as i told in pune or even uh, northeastern part when we are taking some observations we observe that there are some opposite polarity this positive discharges are also observed uh, many places over india and definitely they are more dangerous because they they always carry more current this this cloud to ground negative discharges will carry around 25 to 30 uh, Kilo ampere current, but these positive discharges will always more than 40 kilo ampere, and therefore they are mostly producing more uh, damages. And therefore, most of the time, if we are trying to understand why in over Indian region these positive discharges are more, and that may be the one of the reason as I told, more people are dying over India. We are seeing more than 2,500 people. Nowhere in the world that much uh, people are dying. and that may be one of the reason this positive discharges are very common over indian region that may be one of the reason uh, then i will just tell how this lightning discharge occur as i told there are huge electricity is required to break the atmosphere because atmosphere is a, as good as a insulator there are some uh, ions are there but very few ions are there but how that discharges occur or how that initiation of discharge occurs as shown in this uh, second figure actually if you see there the discharge always st start with the step by step actually uh, each step can be about 40 to 80 meter it will this whole charge will come down and then it will form electric field very intense electric field at the tip of that uh, uh, lidar then it will produce the discharge and it will come step by step actually as uh, you some of you may be or many of you may be physics students and you may be knowing that gm tube you might have studied in your physics uh, sy or yeah actually if you apply anode and cathode and if you apply very high voltage to that uh, electrodes then what happens actually because inside here there are some electrons will be there actually and if high electric field is there then that electrons will try to move in the direction of electric field means towards positive electrode that electrons will try to move and if the kinetic energy of that electron is sufficiently high then what will happen they will collide with other air molecules and they will produce ionization they mean they mean they will produce more electrons 
then that electron produces the electron also start moving in the electric field and they will again produce some more electrons with chain reaction more and more electrons will be getting produced and then it will form the conducting path and in that conducting path lightning will propagate it will come down then that will start that chain reaction will start and then it will produce a next path of 40 to 50 meter and that way step by step it will come down but as uh, there i have shown that uh, last step it will is it will see actually when, when lightning comes near to the earth surface at last step it will see the what is the nearest point it will not come directly to the ground from that point it will see what is the nearest point if it is a high object like tree is there or some tower is there or some high building is there it will go to that actually it will therefore generally it, uh, it will not strike directly to the ground it will go to some high object because that last stage it last step it will generally go to some high object and therefore that uh, point it is always at the somewhere in the t tree and uh, always you also might have heard that we should not go under tree when lightning is there because lightning will prefer to go on high object actually it will not directly come down and uh, that that is called as a return stroke once it is on that path then actually what we see is that that return stroke actually that time very huge current means as uh, i have shown the it is around 1000 to 2 lakh ampere current will flow actually because it is a very huge current 1 ampere current is sufficient to kill the person and it is very huge 2000 to 2 lakh ampere and uh, as you know maybe know in joules law actually if current is flowing through any conductor it produces heat and because of that heat that column air column gets uh, heated up actually that temperature can reach up to 3000 degree kelvin 30000 degree kelvin actually you can see 30000 degree kelvin is a very high temperature means melting point also i think 11000 degree or something or even This it is a very huge uh, electricity actually, and uh, you also may be knowing actually this when uh, this nitrogen fixing occurs, it is called that uh, as a endothermic reaction. Means it requires some uh, uh, energy, and when lightning occurs because of that high temperature, this nitrogen fixing uh, takes place, and NOx get produced in the atmosphere, and with water means what. droplets it comes to the ground and therefore soil also get lot of nox and uh, uh, other you know and you know and that is as uh, uh, it will be useful for uh, agriculture purpose also and uh, what sound it produces because when it is heated up the 30000 degree kelvin then that air expands actually because of sudden heating up and that produces shock wave that is what we heard it as a thunder Thunder, then light, light also it is produced because of heating. You can see here actually. Here also you can see how it is coming step by step. You can see actually. This is some of our measurements at northeastern part, and here actually we we are taking this measurement. How exactly this? Here you can see very. clearly the return stroke you can see very clearly and as i told actually current uh, in discharge is very high 20 to 2 uh, 2 lakh ampere actually and you can see this actually energy of flash it is 10 to the 9 to 10 to the 10 joule means if you calculate in your units it will be very huge actually in one household can use this much power for almost at least 3 to 4 months means one lightning can give energy that will be useful for one house for few months at least therefore if you can save or even you can collect that energy even 50% of energy it will be huge energy but uh, till now it has not it is not possible because one thing it is a very short term phenomenon it will within half second it will finish actually and even though that much current is coming how we can store that energy in such a small time it is, it is still it is not possible to store that energy in such a small time and another problem is that this lightning will not occur at one place actually it will be different places means who where we will keep our charge in storing batteries or whatever we want to keep it 
it is very difficult to store but still people are trying earlier days it was very they were very optimistic that it will be used but now uh, it is people have uh, known that it is very difficult to store but still in some countries that research is going on that we can store that energy because it is a very huge energy actually and as i told global electric circuit because in fair weather current are coming down actually because this is ionosphere you can see electrosphere i have written but it is ionosphere and current is coming down and from uh, thunderstorm it will go up and uh, therefore actually this uh, as i told this lightning is charging the ionosphere therefore ionospheric potential is directly proportional or very much correlated to this uh, lightning discharges because each lightning discharges will charge the ionosphere and therefore it has been proposed that this ionospheric potential can be used as a global thermometer because as you know this temperature nowadays everybody is telling that uh, global warming is happening temperature is increasing but it is a very complicated process to find out the actual global temperature because you have to measure many places and many uh, times means diagonal also you have to see and then you have to average and therefore to find a global temperature at this year and it is increased next year it is a very complicated and very tedious process but if you measure this ionospheric potential some people are thinking that it is enough it will be it can be used as a global thermometer is it will direct temperature of global means of globe how much temperature is there we can get by only measuring the ionospheric potential okay that effects anyway i i will not tell because uh, dr gopal krishnan will tell in his lecture yeah if, if you have some question up to this means basic thing you can you can ask it No, not the scale. As I told, it is a very minute thing. See, the whole process happens in uh, 500 or 300 millisecond, and storing that energy, it still it is not possible because during that uh, short time, how to store that energy? Because it is a very huge energy, actually, and it is not possible. As I told Benjamin Franklin, he he was he discovered, and he that time he was trying to store that actually. And so many accidents because if you bring that energy in laboratory handling, it is a very difficult thing. It, it is 2,000 ampere or 2 lakh uh, ampere current. If it is coming inside laboratory, it can explode. In it. Therefore, it is a very dangerous. This energy charge. How much energy is charged electric energy charge? Negative charge because as I told below there is a negative charge actually. In cloud there are two charges. One is positive charge which is in the upper portion. Negative charge in the lower portion. Therefore that negative charge comes to the earth actually and lightning up. Suppose again this negative charge it will not affect the negative charge. Yeah, that is actually potential. If you see that is the relative term. If two volt is there and ten volt is there, then these two volt can consider as negative compared to this because that is uh, because this negative is very huge negative actually. Even though that is earth also some negative charge is there, but comparatively that is a very huge negative. Therefore, it, it will act as a positive because it is comparative means it is a potential difference that play important because that is negative potential. It is also but it is a huge negative. Is possible to use that? Yeah, that is the RP. I mean, some people now rocket by rocket we can trigger the lightning actually. If you put some rocket and if you, as I told, lightning try to come towards high object actually. If you are producing this one kilometer rocket, then lightning will come to that point actually, and we can trigger lightning artificially also. I mean, if some arcing wire should be attached to that. Uh, Rocket, and if you fire that uh, rocket, it will act as a some raised object, like in a tower, or because it is connected to earth also. Therefore, lightning will come to that. Okay, when I come now, I will give that power and give a lecture on what is introduce what is atmospheric electricity. 
and how it is important. Why means important in the sense how it is felt over uh, by us. Because the atmospheric electricity is not, it is generally actually it is uh, the available all the time around our globe. But we are not seeing the feeling the atmospheric electricity is existing. When nobody knows that something electricity is existing within our atmosphere. The only time when we experience there is electricity within the atmosphere, that is during the time of our light time only. That, but Dr. Pawar is just not told, it is not only the time when the lightning is occurring, even other times also, means all the time, means all the three, throughout the year, wherever you go, we experience uh, there is atmospheric electricity is there, and, but we are not experiencing that. <clears throat> so we are experiencing uh, that the atmospheric electricity is there, we are feeling that is only during the time of our lightning. So, lightning, what is the lightning? Lightning is a, one of the optical manifestation within the thundercloud. So, whenever you have a thundercloud, whenever you have a thunderstorm, what is called the thunderstorm, thunderstorm is nothing but the thundercloud accompanied by the rain, it will be the, and then along with thunder, you always, thunder is accompanied, lightning will accompany thunder also, and there will be a huge rain, heavy rain will be there. So, what we are get is, the thunderstorm. Within the thunderstorm, we have a thunder, lightning, and and then a huge rain. So these are the thunderstorms. So why this thunderstorm? Why only that lightning? We are means whatever the electricity we are we are having within atmosphere is is not felt during the other times, but only during a time of lightning. Why it is like this? So because. This lightning carries a very huge amount of energy, very high current, very high current is applied compared to that normal time of energy. So, as you all know, that the uh, current we are used in our domestic purpose or even our house or industry. So, what is the how much is that maximum current we are using it? So, you use a for smaller applications, we use 5 amps current. When you are using a big thing, something like a heater or something like a geyser you are putting or AC you are putting, then you are using 15 amps current. So we are not using more than that one also. So maximum current we are using is only 15 amps current. So but time, that can also when there is a leakage, if you are feeling a shock, that produces a huge effect. Means we are getting shock and then you are feeling. So that is the time we are getting only during the time of the lightning that is the in your domestic purpose means household purpose so we tell you kai to the ilaga a ball current that is in a shock or in a number less of shock are you i love the maximum will be 15 amps current whereas in the lighting so what we experience is the current the lightning strike each lightning strike is breaking about 20,000 amps or 20 kilo amps, what is called the 20 kilo amps to 200 kilo amps of lightning. So that much huge current it comes, it is having, and this current is having a very high energy also. And then what is that the power tool? It is having the power uh, energy of 10 power 9 to 10 power 10 joules. And and this because of this high energy, it can produce a very high temperature, the temperature is accompanied by that something 1800 to 20,000, means 20,000 degree of Kelvin. So that much high energy that uh, disorder, uh, charges are. So that's why lightning, though it is a very good phenomenon, optical phenomena, you're seeing it, it is going out and it is there. You're seeing a very good optical phenomena, very good, that huge flash of light which we have in a very fat again, yes, yes, shown a photograph. In the picture photograph, which, which is doing very nice, all the things, but it is a very much, uh, much hazardous. So one of the big hazards. So it can create, it can kill the people, it can have some injuries, it can create a heart attack, produce so many, the electrical, not only to human, to that commercial uh, applications also. So the TV towers or the, or the uh, or mobile towers, something so everything it can get affected because of the lighting and all because of the lighting it is affecting so this kind of a damages causes because lighting is a very huge damages it produces if you see nowadays 
there is this lightning damage is coming very high, becoming the huge damages compared to other damages. So this lightning can have two polarities. So he has told, so lightning usually brings a negative polarity, negative current, so negative lightning, but sometimes it has a positive lighting also. So positive lighting means it brings up on a positive current, positive charges to that air surface. So that's why it is called the positive charge. So these positive uh, ions and either when they form it, that is always having a much higher potential, much higher energy than the uh, this one. What is you know, which is that usually accompanied by that negative charge, negative lighting. So the positive lighting occurrence is rare, but positive lighting can have a very high influential means in, in creating damages it is comparable to this one so there are two kinds of a lighting are there as i told one is that the ground to uh, miss cloud to crown lighting or it is called the intra cloud lighting and the other one lighting is the another cloud to cloud, uh, cloud, to, 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 uh, cloud to ground lighting so cloud to ground lighting is the one which comes start from the cloud and ends at the, uh, the ground. So, so which one will have a uh, damaging effect? Whether cloud to ground or intra cloud? Uh, in cloud to uh, cloud to ground. Uh, cloud to ground, uh, cloud to ground lighting. Because, but because the cloud to ground lighting is more the uh, means uh, producing damages. But if you're seeing that when the total lighting occurring within the cloud, only maximum uh, one sixth means one something around the 25 percent 25 not 15 percent of that lighting was only the cloud to or to ground lighting remaining lighting will occur within the cloud or from the from one cloud to another cloud near to that to the neighboring cloud that's called cloud to cloud or that intra cloud lighting that occurs within the cloud only so these two are the uh, lighting so there are two types of lighting cloud to ground and cloud to ground and there are positive and negative lighting is also there. So the so how the how this lightning start within the cloud? Because the cloud is small and as you see the cloud is having but the each lightning is having a very high potential, very high voltages. So how within the cloud within the thunder cloud how this kind of a lightning is produced means that how it starts. So so lightning, I told you, it is only a nothing but a electrical discharge, electrical breakdown. So in case if you are bringing a positive and the negative charges are there separated, and if you are bringing it closer, it produces a the small uh, small spark that we have seen in a battery. You can see with that even one battery, one point five volt battery, ten volt battery, something like that, positive negative charge, it will produce a spark. But in in the lightning also within the thunder cloud. There are, he is told, two charge centers are there. One is that having the one one particular plate, so much negative charge. Mostly that uh, that uh, that lower part of the thunder cloud, there will be a uh, negative charge. Upper part of the thunder cloud, there will be a uh, positive charge. So these two charges go on building up. Once it is building up, so much energy is there, then it starts a big spark, which is comes as a this. So for that for that kind of uh, that spark to occur within the thunder cloud, means the electrical discharge. What you need is the, uh, something that electrical field within the thunder cloud should be more than uh, more than 100 kilo um, kilo volts per meter. And then so the breakdown occurs when there is a, when there is a thousand kilo volts per meter. But whatever the charges which is this uh, uh, what mostly observed charges are only 10 to 100. So in that case, how this thunder cloud, how the lighting is occurring? So the, the one of the theory is that the present each cloud within the thunder cloud there are hydrometers. Hydrometer, hydrometer means nothing but the water droplet, or even the cloud droplet, water droplet, whatever is present, or ice particle. So they can the presence of this they can bring down this amount of energy required to that much lesser time something like that uh, below that 100 kilo volts it can there are two theories are proposed so one is that called the conventional breakdown theory and the another one is called the is that the runaway breakdown theory so runaway so conventional breakdown theory is a very simple so they are having that emission of positive corona so 
அது என்ன சொன்னேன் இதில் வந்து வாட்டர் ட்ராப்ஸ் இருக்கு த ப்ரெசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் வாட்டர் ட்ராப்ளிஸ் இருக்கு சரி ப்ரெசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் வாட்டர் ட்ராப்ளிஸ் ஸோ ஸோ மதி ஹைட்ரோபிக்ஸ் அதை கால் தான் ஹைட்ரோபிக்ஸ் ஸோ வாட்டர் ட்ராப்ளேட் கிளவுட் ட்ராப்ளேட் அது இருக்கு ஸோ தீஸ் கிளவுட் ட்ராப்ளேஸ் அண்ட் தென் வித் இன் த தந்தர் கிளோ தெர் இஸ் அ வெரி ஹை எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் ஃபீல்ட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ப்ரெசன்ஸ் ஸோ த வேல்யூ ஆஃப் த எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் ஃபீல்ட் சம்திங் கோஸ் அரௌண்ட் த ஹண்ட்ரட் டு டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் கிலோ வோல்ஸ் பெர் மீட்டர் ஸோ அந்த வெரி ஹை எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் இந்த இந்த எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் ஃபீல்டில் போகும்போது வித் இன் த கிளவுட் தட் வாட்டர் ட்ராப்ளேட் வில் நாட் சிக் சிம்பிளி தட் ஐடியா வித் இன் த கிளவுடில் வந்து அதுக்குள்ளே வந்து கிளவுட் வித் இன் த கிளவுட் தேர் ஆர் த்ரீ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபோர்ஸஸ் ஆகும் ஒன் இஸ் த த விண்ட் ஃபோர்ஸஸ் அது இஸ் கால் தட் அப்ட்ராப்ட் அண்ட் தென் தட் அனைத்தார் கூட இஸ் கால் த டவுன் ட்ராப்ட் அப்ட்ராப்ட் அண்ட் தென் டவுன் ட்ராப்ட் இந்த அப்ட்ராப்ட் இஸ் த இஸ் ஒன்லி த அப்பர் வெலாசிட்டி த வெலாசிட்டி விச் வித் தட் மீன்ஸ் த விண்ட் க்ளோஸ் வித் இன் த கிளவுட் ஸோ இட் வில் டேக் அவே த ட்ராப்ட் அண்ட் தென் தெர் இஸ் ஆல்சோ த டவுன் ட்ராப்ட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ த and along with that drag force is the water experience at drag force and then also the this percent of electrical field will also have play a role so all these forces so this this water droplets whatever is present or even the cloud droplets they are present they are, are they are means all these forces are acting on this this water droplets so water droplets will cannot remain idle it has to move and then because of the forces when it is forces is the so it is argument usually the water droplet is considered to be a spherical one spherical so spherical and i give the nariya forces are going on so because of so many forces are given so it is not long as a not as a spherical so it is starts to elongate so elongate through that time it will become a it can become that electrical part or something like the electrical it will not low level so electrical from this one electrical and then once that force is become so high so it just breaks up so one droplet will break into two or three or something like that so because of the presence of the electrical field as well as the motion of the some other motion the some other forces acting within the cloud so when these kinds of uh, forces acting so it will not uh, be spherical it will start elongating it so and that thing on that uh, on this edges will not remain the smooth so edges will come up the small sharp points so from these sharp points they will call us sir corona points adile they will then these points so they can have a, a, some higher electrical fields than the surrounding so adinala when from there it will start the the electrical initiation breakdown can initiate it. so that is called the conventional breakdown theory that is called the conventional breakdown theory so so idila vandu irukke so indha theory vandu irukke act panadhukke for this theory to act so we look at the presence of high electrical field as well as that the presence of hydrobicol these two are the uh, means that the pre requirement for this conventional breakdown theory to act because we are seeing the conventional breakdown we are i think the two things so the electrical forces are acting on only that uh, hydrobicol and then hydrobicol will be along the some the surface of the hydrobicol they can have some sharp edges from the from which this corona discharge can start which can once it starts then it can initiate the lighting so this is the first theory this given the this one and one more this it is not so much convincing because this requires the presence of hydrometer hydrometer is not also a lot of us so that the next theory is comes that this the random breakdown theory so random breakdown theory in the only that is not it requires not require that uh, this one so it uh, it based on the movement of electrons within the, the thunder cloud so when the, within the thunder cloud so there will be a electron initiation that is having a energy of uh, something around 1 million volts electron million electron volts so such a high energy uh, electrons when it is produced in the cloud cloud they collide with that very high energy what he has explained so that energy and then that one that chain reaction starts on going it from the chain reaction so so much avalanche of energy is that avalanche of electrons are produced so it is called that avalanche theory also so the electrons you know it have a mean free path so it will electrons will also move it will have a mean free path it have one centimeter but when it between that uh, thunderstorm it is having the mean free path can increase multiple times so it is uh, it is moving with a so much high energy so because of this collision is start now once the solution is start so many energy it is like something like a chain reaction so one electron it is having so much electron is produced from this one this kind of a thing 
it will produce this process produce the runaway electron something like avalanche avalanche na theriyum illa romba periya idu one bunch of electrons are produced so these can act as a the initiation for the cloud so in this theory it doesn't locate the presence of the initial electrical field as well as the that hydrometer so these two are not present required for this theory to this one so high energy is not the high the electrical field is higher up to sounds and then so that the conventional breakdown theory is concentrated in the low energy mode and in the high energy in the other way so idinala vende then vende in the light it is with the theory and solid and still it is not fully understood how the light is because that uh, doing research between the thunder cloud entering the thunder cloud measuring the what is the amount of electrical field available how it is that now the, all these thing only is a theory it is not proven that you cannot go to a laboratory the theory it is well that this theory as proposed is called the only the hypothesis has been done for this the uh, initiation of the electrical field so once now if you are going to know so between the thunder cloud ku pore thunder cloud ku la lighting irukku and lighting it can be having a very high energy and because of this high energy it produces it can produce a damage when it is comes as a, as a cloud to ground light okay so like this one it is so so you know and always it is happening but nowadays we are seeing that large amount of the lighting there is a gap if you see the data here some shown i may have a data so which may come like this one so this is this way you can see that in the number of lighting is also increasing if you see that one so that lighting is increasing the way it kills a people it also increases so if you see that the that orange color that the number of people is affected by the lighting during the last 10 years you see that number of people affected by lighting go on increasing or even so high compared to the number of people affected by uh, especially you see number of people affected by cyclone has now gone from 2004 you see 1500 now you see it is something around 100 or something like that even the recent cyclone which hit the mulnadi also only 5 10 people or 20 people died there is not much effect but only in lightning people are affecting that is lightning is remains only the greatest source of the natural disaster which can affect the nature it is considered the natural disaster most uh, why it is like it because the lightning for other things the forecast value has been increased forecast so cyclone varjanaga ipo vandha cyclone sonnaani tamilnadu for 5 days before so in the particular part the chennai around the chennai it will be affected and you think the people are evacuated we got the very uh, high uh, that what they call the leak leak time na naal naalik munari theriyum anju naalik munari theriyum so moor naalik munari in the particular part mat affect aagum bodhu theriyum so people are evacuated so something like and the flood also when they are releasing the water they give the, the sufficient time once they release the dam water then it having the time of something took for to 5 hours 6 hours then we know the where the water is going to uh, affect the particular region people they go and ana adu ana adu still the difficult part 20 minutes is the very difficult one evacuation is not possible but we can go ask the people to go there some distribution is there then we can ask them people to go to the near no that is very difficult that's why one hour also is difficult that's why that's why it is having huh? Because they are making with uh, along with observation, uh, combined with the model, they are trying for this. One. But uh, the thing is, that's what they are coming to. Huh? So here they start the times is available for the other natural disaster. Whereas for lightning disaster, this late time is much lesser. And then also the place where the lightning going to affect or the thunderstorms are going to affect is also we cannot tell precisely. we can tell that the particular area over the coimbatore area it will happen but over this particular region this region only the coimbatore also is having a very huge region so that so often means we cannot evacuate the people everybody we cannot tell the people not to come out like that because for the long term and so that time of occurrence is also very less and then we don't have a late time that's why people are being affected so much 
So, but we are having the effort to make it minimizing. So that the minimizing is because of that two or three factors. Main thing is to make them aware that what are that uh, when that lighting is going to affect. So, like a the memory, we can give only the 30 minutes exact location. But within the 12 hours, we can tell that uh, that area. Just the morning for uh, two or three hours before or two hours before, we can tell this particular area the coimbatore is going to factor by the thunderstorm. But after 30 minutes, we can tell the particular area which area is within the coimbatore is going to affect. So that we can tell around that uh, 30 minutes before after the 30 minutes or before that. Like so like that, at least the 12 hours time we can tell the 12 hours to three hours time we can tell where which area is going to affect. That will be the modeling we can tell, and we are making the people aware how to where the people they have to go and then how the people have to, to stand or, or where they can stand their shelter and what are the proper way for the general law is the panel and the panel is the panel is the panel is the panel so like this is the panel and the very awareness this is the mass awareness campaign social awareness campaign that is being conducted so this kind of a thing will reduce the number of people affected by the lighting okay so now you understand why lighting affects and how lighting is affecting people and why it is so much necessary. So you put on the lighting of the particular person on the effect on money. There are four ways lightning can affect a person, particular person or the property. So one is called the direct strike, another is called the contact voltage, third is the side flash, and fourth one is called the dangerous one, that is called the step voltage. So in the figure what you know, so direct strike. Everybody understand what is the direct strike. So lightning hit the directly. But the chances are very less because the lighting, as we told, it comes and the ends. It is only lighting before coming to the ground. You see that it wants to come to that, uh, come by the shorter distance. The shorter distance is with the man is just two, two, one and a half feet. The average height is one and a half meters high. And if there is a per, something a taller object, something trees are the average height of a tree is three to four meters. So that will mostly strike the tree only, not the person. So we say that only the isolated person is that particular field, physical field, only that person is standing, then, then there is the chances of the direct hit. So direct hit can give the that one that is very much fatal. So because it's having so much high energy, direct hit is the another one is called the next one is the contact percentage, contact voltage. So person is not directly affected, he is taking a shelter, the person is taking a shelter close to tree or the close to building, wherever it is there, in a building, and he is touching that particular object. So when that so, uh, lightning strikes that particular object where he is standing and touching it, so that time he may get affected, that is because of this contact with the uh, with that object which is being which is being struck by the lightning. So that is called the contact voltage that is mechanical. And another one is the side flight. So he is not touching, he is standing near the uh, tree, under the tree, so the tree is taller, as we do, the tree is more than three, our uh, average height is three to four meters. So three is, uh, three is stuck by the lightning. So that's struck by the lightning. So he's having so much energy. So because of this one, he is getting affected. That's called the side pressure. And fourth one is only that one, that is from the step voltage. That's was something different. It is not, the person is not nowhere close to the, that lightning. So lightning, as I told you, it is having a huge energy. After hitting the ground, it will not directly go to the ground. When it is there, it passes its energy, conducts the energy to the ground in a in wave-like fashion. So this conducts, you can see the wave-like fashion, this conducting the energy. If that, if that lightning is so much strong, it can, this kind of wave-like fashion, it can, it can dissipate the energy even to that area, something like that, 100 to 200 meters away also. This energy can this way get to the wave that time. So when the person is touching the two waves, he is not knowing that the two waves are there, so that person can get affected. That is called the side uh, support gain one. So that is also motion. So in this way, so that uh, the, uh, this, this kind of is somewhat peculiar in this way. He may not be near to the lighting, the lighting has not struck to that person, but that this kind of that energy is being dissipated within the energy from the within the within the earth to that large distance, 
Sometimes you can travel even up to that when the energy is very high, it can travel even up to the 500 meters also, half kilometer away also. So the way, the, where that place we are standing may not be having the kind of stuff, we are not having the affected air, but still we can get affected the particular person is affected. So these are the things that I told you. So these are the production techniques, you know, these are the conventional, non-conventional production techniques. So this is non-conventional production techniques. We, we are now updating, not uh, given the ministry and the home ministry, the disaster management, NDMA, they are advising to everybody to have a, that lighting uh, arrest test, lighting technique test to be there. So these kind of a lighting arrest tests are available in this one. That is the conventional technique, that is the normal conventional technique, is that one, one lighting rod will be there, that will be properly connected. That should be properly connected along the sidewall to that head. That's not having only that uh, this one, only that the lighting arrestor is not enough. It should be properly yet. That will be without yet, it is having no use. Because, uh, because most of the people, they just connect the lighting and then that is not the, they will not invest for that uh, this one, for that yet thing. So the proper thing is there, then it. Nowadays, so many non-conventional things are also coming. That is having the production of that early, the early stream of the timing is coming. They will produce some ions and then they are telling it can, they can dissipate the lighting. They are not just so they are telling it will get the lighting will dissipate, the energy will not come the directly strike this. It's called the non-conventional thing. But it is not so much successful. What they are claiming is, but it is not that much successful. He said this way the lightning rod should be erected and, and then the grounding is very much essential. Without the grounding, it is not of use. So this is the way I told you, this is that the mass awareness is. So the first one is the shape, uh, shelter for the equipment of extract aluminum. So even if it is in the field also, if you are having the field, something that is open field is the very much familiar, but something like a small uh, house, small Room or something like that, even the stacks in the good Samari put here in the well in the well. Then we can just because they are having now because of the company up here having 30 minutes. Right? So you can reach at least the one kilometer level also, you can reach and then you can go and stay in that one. So that would be much better. But in case of nothing, is that is the safest position the person can do to apply the sentence because when you are the person is standing. And that is the one, he is very much vulnerable for the lightning strike. Because he is standing, that is, he will, he will become the tallest position in that open field. Especially for the agricultural field, there is no tree nearby. So the person is standing and working. So he will become the tallest position and then like, he is very much vulnerable for that. So once the lightning starts, so he has to do like that. Nothing is there. He has to at least sit like this position. So there is his toes, he will leave that and then and then his feet sit, feet are raised on the ground, and he is standing like that. So this is for the much, much bigger one. So another one is the just lie down on that one, but it's a more nicer because if there is a, that a particular region already that means that the Manapaji Hira Mandira, that is not a good track. Otherwise, here one, that is also just to lie down, that is a good track. Otherwise, it is in Hira Mandira, in the very this is the best practice to keep at least the safe, so it will not directly affect the person, it will not hit the person, it will be the safest one to have this one. So we have to tell the people, it is that thing is there, we have to tell the people. And second thing is to avoid for the lightning strike, is not to take shelter below the tree. Because the, our general practice all over India, it is general practice, is go and stand near the tree only. That is the, the greatest part. But standing near the tree will attract the even the ground. And also the another thing is standing in a group. Because there is no other shelter is there. And people are standing near the under the tree is also is itself is a dangerous. And then that is also you are uh, standing together. Means or put them on a even if the one person is affected, all person nearby he touch will get affected because of the contact with them. So the Kutamanikar, that should not be. It. If you are taking the one, you have to be a, a safe distance. You have to keep a safe distance and take that dose. So these are the three important things. And if you are going out and then if there is a better practice, it's not to go out, stand alone. And then if it is not standing alone, then 
he has to uh, outside he has to take this kind of uh, precaution when that when that vaccine site and we should not go and then stand near to the in, uh, in the group what you call the group romba kootama nikka kudara othra othra igris tenikkarde and then ikkala romba nidhana so last year when they near gavat le padiya 19 yana de erandu pochi nanga maybe that is also one one touching 19 yana when the gavat and the reserve uh, idile uh, and in the and the kaziranga paakla 19 yana erandu pochi ore lighting side la so that kind of a thing should be avoided uh, the grouping should be that and one more thing assembly is the people standing close to the car or vicinity of the site and the metal tools such as the either and then when there is some indian there is a water pool when there is a in the rain i you know tanni or the thing you know that will not go away so you should even though lighting is not there and one more thing so lightning at thunder shower thunder storms come to the light uh, rain so that rain stops then afterwards and the cloud level portion is called the hidden bed and will bed and will and will of the cloud so and will of the cloud can extend something around the 3 km away from the cloud also the and will is the only the top portion it is not having a base like this a symmetrical section is not there only the flat portion which extends on that on the top of the cloud so once that all the rain starts now only that and will is exposed to the to, to the ground so the and will charge that may bring the the uh, very high with uh, like in charge should be so even after the thunderstorm means the rain is rain you are taking a shelter and then okay rain in the bush in mature is that thing is then we need to go that that time is a very much dangerous period because now you are not having a rain but the time animal is exposed and the animal because of the animal charge that will create a especially the positive because animal is in the upper portion of the positive charge so animal is also having a for the positive charge so and then the one the one the one lightning one mostly its chances are you having the positive lightning is much higher this is why it so and will will have a, so that is the one of the brother practice best practice immediately after the stop thing the rain you should not venture out you wait for some 10 to 15 minutes so that and will also be dissipated then afterwards you go so and will that is also a uh, the bad practice we have namu poi inga ninni thirumbana ga seri namakku vandha andha logu porume irukke சோரி நம்ம வந்து மழை நின்னுருச்சு மேல மழை வரல அப்படின்னு சொல்லி வெளியில் கிளம்பிடும் அப்போ தான் வெளியில் கிளம்பும் அப்போ தான் பெரிய வந்து லைட்டிங் வரும் ஸோ அந்த மாதிரி ப்ராக்டிஸ் அதுவும் வந்து ரொம்ப இம்பார்ட்டண்ட்டானது ஸோ அதையும் வந்து அவாய்ட் பண்ணலாம் அந்த மாதிரி இருக்குது ஸோ திஸ் ஆர் த வே வி ஹேவ் டு அவாய்ட் இட் அண்ட் திஸ் வே ஸோ த லைட்டிங் இஸ் ஹேவிங் திஸ் ஒன் ஸோ தட் இயர் இஸ் ஸோ இது வந்து எந்த இடத்துல உட்காடுறதும் கூட இது இருக்குது ஸோ இப்போ டேக்கிங் ஷெல்டர் ஆல்சோ ஸோ நியர் பை ஷெல்டர் தென் பேர் டு டேக் த ஷெல்டர் because in the in the event we are going to the lightning in the very irukum bore in the center of our area that we do not have much damage so we have to uh, take it right to near by tree nothing is there near to a tree also if we are taking then you should not stand near to the tree people are standing and go by one by one group and right that is the most dangerous one so like this one nothing is there in this way it is close to a tree this position then nothing, nothing will happen so these are the thing so here only enna la manna ga here only breathing here go heart beat pulse high pulse in long or lightning strike it very not nariya idu varukku so this are many mites and lamite so if it is not raining and clouds are not over i am safe it is all like that raining cloud indalo overhead cloud indalo overhead la cloud la mele paaka cloud illa but side la cloud illa that can bring that light because i told you so lightning strike somewhere else and then it can Pass the energy like that in that wave form. Also, and then also that animal of the cloud will be much away from the where that overhead cloud is there. So five kilometer also it can go. So there also it is not that short the lightning. It is not a rain illa cloud illa. Apna under the cloud illa. Pocket level the lightning represents. And lightning like this never strike the same place twice. So it is also my lightning can strike the place together. More nice rubber tire protect you from the lightning from inserting the car. on the ground is not like the lightning comes uh, can it is then and lightning you can affect me by this one within the car will you should now open the window or anything it should be closed everything should be closed and then if you are inside the car then you are safe if your windows are open then it is you are not safe and lightning victim is like if you touch them you will be like you touch once it is touch and it is passed then you can touch it because afterwards it will not have the like he is not having the person is not a conductor once the conductor is the lightning is the affected so afterwards it is not the conductor 
Outside the thunderstorm, go on a sea that is not there, right? Inside the house also, if you are not having a proper earthing inside the house, you should not operate the electrical appliances like them, that you are not safe. And structures, that is everybody knows. Have the house thing. It's a quite interesting topic. No one can deliver because they have been working for the past 30, more than 30 years, most of them. See, they are basically physics people. Whatever you ask, they will relate with the physics. Unless you have strong physics, it's a difficult thing. We have sir. Definitely, we have been telling uh, climate change, uh, rainfall is increasing, number of rainy days increasing, this and that. But we have to go into the atmospheric science. That is the next step. Uh, from the meteorologist, uh, the environmental specialist to go into that domain. It's a big domain. Definitely, we must venture into that. Unless and otherwise you go into that atmospheric science, you cannot grab the opportunity of a common man. Otherwise, you have to be uh, restricted with uh, the agriculture, farming, IFB. Only this, when you go to the general field, play field, you must take up this. This is a tough subject. Yeah. Because of the curiosity, I was asking, it's not an easy thing to answer this and that, but my understanding, I was asking it. It's a big thing, lightning and thunder. They have been uh, toiling much for that. IATM, I have not visited through Harsha and the Gokila. I heard that they have got lots of facilities. We must definitely go to that institute and tie up with us. Those who are in the MSC, plan for your thing. Our scientists are there for guiding you. So, all along they have come down to Uti based on the request. Here and uh, delivered a nice talk. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Dr. Sri Pavar, sir. Also, Dr. Uh, Global and we can hear uh, the uh, subject from them for hours together. Okay, this is the eye opener for uh, all of our students. All are experts and modelers and all are experts. But this is a new area for them. Uh, on behalf of our team, uh, we sincerely thank you for your very nice session. Thank you, thank you.